my favorite song of the night. It's also the last one. Um, but it's called Death Was Arrested, and it's talking about everything that Jesus has done for us. Um, we can kind of see the thread through these stories. We can, I can see the thread in my own life and everything that he's done for me. Um, so it may be unfamiliar to some of you, but uh, as you pick it up, um, just sing out with everything you have. Just worship God tonight as we finish out tonight. Alone in my sorrow and dead in my sin Lost without hope with no place to begin
bunch I know. I mean, I'm talking the wildest bunch I know. Why don't y'all sit down for a second? And David asked me earlier this week, he said, would you close us? And I said, yeah, I'll close. And I figured, like he's mentioned, we've had a lot of, we had a funeral Friday and three messages on Sunday and a funeral today. And I said, I'm just gonna come and pray. Is that all right? Yeah, just come and pray. And then I got upstairs and I was worshiping and that's no. <laughs> just to let you know, it's a no. You'll get to wherever you're going in a few minutes. Is that all right? I, f I know it's all right with you. I've been around you, I was asking David. He's kind of in charge of this thing tonight. Back in April, I had a defining moment. That song's such a powerful song right there. I almost got arrested, that's why. Um, in April, I was flying from Augusta, Georgia to Dallas. And I go on an annual turkey hunt with my cousins and some family members and we have to carry guns. And so I was carrying my gun and we had it in a, a box and we take it to the airport and they put it through a scanner and the next thing I know, there was three or four TSA around me asking me if this was my weapon and I was like, yeah, it's my weapon. And they opened it all up and they closed it back up and they started putting all these labels on it and I was like, what's going on? And they said, Mr. Smith, there's bomb residual on your case. I'm like, what? I didn't have a bomb, I got a gun, shoot turkeys with it, that's it. And there's bomb residual all over the outside of your gun. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So they paraded me through the airport with all these labels on my, on my, on my gun case. And they had me in front, um, a TSA guy in front, a TSA guy behind me, and one to the right of me. And I, I'm like, where are we going? You're going to the back room and we're gonna have to strip search you. And I was like, wonderful. <laughs> it's gonna be exciting right here. I thought about something that day. A lot of the reason we can't move forward, and actually the Bible says in Philippians chapter three, that I forget what's behind me and I press toward the things in front of me. A lot of reasons we can't do that is because there's residual in our life. There's residual of past sins or past problems or past relationships or the labels that people have put on us, like adulterer, like sinner, like alcoholic, like murderer. And I felt like that person that day when I was walk, being walked by TSA, he's got my gun, he said there's residual all over the place and I've got all these labels. And I got, I got back to the back room and I get back there and I mean, I was worried. I, don't, I didn't know if I had clean underwear on or not for starters and mama <laughs> always said wear clean underwear for moments just like these, right? That's what I was told. And so I get to the back and I'm thinking this is gonna be disastrous. And all of a sudden the guy starts pulling the labels off my gun, my gun case and he takes some type of chemical and he starts wiping it down and wiping it down and wiping it down and gets done with it. And he said, Mr. Smith, you can have your gun back. I said, what do you mean I can have my gun back? What was the, he said, it was just residual, probably some gunpowder that you had on your hand at some point when you closed your gun case. And I thought to myself right then, that's exactly what Jesus Christ did. There was residual and labels and Jesus washed it away. <laughs> That's what he did. He washed the residual of sin away. He, res he, he washed the labels that the world's put on. He has actually washed the labels that the enemy, the devil, has put on us. Well, how, how, how do we get right? David, y'all know who David was, right? King David had an affair, child dies, murders Uriah, all that mess. He writes one of the most powerful Psalms in the Bible. It's the 51st Psalm. The very first thing that he comes to grips with, he goes, before you and against you and you only have I sinned and done what is wrong in your sight. If we're gonna get rid of the residual, we gotta tell God that we're sorry for what we've done. God, I'm sorry that I've failed and there's residual of sin in my life. And he says, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. We have to have a change of heart. And he talks about a change of mind. And he says, cast me not away from your presence. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Tonight, you probably, there's somebody, I know there is. I sense it, I know it. I, it wasn't by chance. I was sitting up there worship, worshiping. We got to the song that you sang and, and, and the song was, got to the part where, oh, how he loves us. And I thought somebody in this room needs to hear how much God loves you. With your residual, with your labels, 
because he is, has the ability to wash it away clean. He has the chemical, it's called the blood. He cleaned away all of our sins because of the blood. I want you to do me a favor, I just want you to bow your heads. Maybe you came to this place tonight thinking you're gonna hear a couple good songs and you're gonna hear a couple great stories. And you did, you heard a couple good songs and you heard a couple great stories. But the greatest story that's ever been told is the story of Jesus Christ, the gospel presentation of how he died on the cross, he went to the grave, he rose again, and how he has purchased and, and defeated death, hell, and the grave. And you're here right now in this moment, and you know you got residual, but I'm telling you what, I have the answer to how to wash that stuff off. And what it is, is asking Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior and putting him first in your life. And if you're here tonight, and that's you, if that's you, I want you to do me a favor, I want you to be bold. I'm not gonna ask you to walk anywhere, I just want you to raise your hand right where you're sitting just so I can see you. That's so awesome, so awesome. I want you guys to pray with me, the ones that raised their hand, I want you to pray with me, okay? Dear Jesus, right now, in your precious name, I accept your cleansing power, that you wash the residual, that you would move the stuff that's in my life away from me, that I could stand on your word that says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, I am a brand new creation. The old labels are gone and the new has come. You are called redeemed now. You are called redeemed now because you've asked Christ to be in your heart. The Bible says there's a party going on in heaven right now because people are accepting and asking Christ to be, be their savior. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. And if there's a party in heaven, there should be a party right here on earth. So give it up for those. I mean, it was like six or seven people that raised their hand. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Listen, I'm gonna tell you something. This is a great way to start the 930. Um, one of the things that we talk about with the 930 all the time is we talk about fast and praying. Uh, faster and praying. <laughs> Fasting and praying. And one of the we, we, reasons we fast and pray is because it draws people to repentance. Uh, Isaiah 58 says, this is not the fast that I've chosen to loosen the chains of injustice and set captives free. That's why we're doing what we're doing. So we wanna say thank you for being here. Now, if you ask Christ to be your savior, it's not over. There's a next step. And what I'd encourage you to do is maybe you came with somebody. Um, I would tell that person and maybe tell somebody, maybe a leader, somebody with one of those shirts on right there. Patty, turn around real fast. Let's see that shirt. Somebody with Celebrate Recovery shirt. Maybe you can go up to them and just say, hey, listen, I made a decision to follow Christ. They'll put you in touch with the right people. Amen? Good stuff tonight. Hey, let's give it up for all the stories. And the band, they did a great job. You guys have a great night. We'll see you next Sunday, this Sunday at Journey.